Hi, this is Giuseppe Lombardo from lifeinthecore.com. I am a professional life and executive coach, and in this video I will talk about coaching in the core. I work with different companies all over the world. I do online coaching and I do co-marketing, which is coaching and marketing. And sometimes my customers, they ask me, Mr. Lombardo, what is coaching in the core? Coaching in the core is a technique that I did by myself as a result of long years of study and the result of having the opportunity and the capability to go and understand people from inside, from your essence, from the core. The core is your center. The core is your essence. The core is the program that you developed since years that you live here in this beautiful planet. Years of learning, understanding yourself and understand what is all around of you. We interact with laws. We interact with the environment where we live. Depend the program that we received when we were little. A human brain is something amazing, is something that you cannot describe even with a word, is something that creates thoughts, and with these thoughts you create the life that you have. So when you are little, the first years of your life, for one to five years, your brain develops the first directives and creates programs, and creates behaviors, creates mind frames. So a mind frame or mind paradigms is a connection between different experiences that you had here in this planet with your family, with your friends, since where you were little, and they were assembled in one directive and all connected in our brain with the synapses and neurons. So all they connect together when you see something outside of yourself, when you listen something, when someone tells something to you, arrives into your brain, the brain analyzes everything. The brain has neuroplasticity. The brain understands behaviors, not yours, even from other people, from the environment where you live. And everything started when you were little. This was the time, it's like a computer, when you buy the computer and you install the software, the computer at the beginning, the moment when you buy at the shop and bring in your home, the computer has just the operating system. And when you bring home your new computer, you sit down and for two days you disappear from everybody and then you install the software, the programs that you need for your work, for your business. So in that moment, the computer that was just picked up from the shop and in the computer that was just the operating system become upgraded. You can install all the software that you have and with a computer you can do many other things. So who teaches the computer? Nobody teaches the computer but you put inside the memory of the computer new software. So at the beginning it was just an, a new computer with the operating system and then after that become a really an instrument. It depends what you put inside of the computer. I'll make you an example with a computer would, because it's easy to understand. If for example the computer is from a young guy, you know, a teenager, of course you will not put inside, you know, mind mapping programs or uh, mathematics or business uh, etc. He will put just video game and fill up the hard drive of video games and this is what you want to do. The other computer from the business guy, it is programmed with different kind of software because the business guy needs something different besides video games. So we have two same machines in that case, but the machines, they react in totally different way. This can be comparable to a human being. Depends, the first five years, what software and what you put inside the brain, the memory, the core of this baby. And the baby, for the first five years, this is a, a natural law, will grow up with the, these programs and they will influence all his or her life. This is the core. Actually, this is not the core, but this is the effect expressed from the core to the baby's life. 
behaviors of people, they repeat and they express in different aspects of their life. Once the coach is able to detect some kind of behaviors that they were created when the person was little, it is easy to understand and correct and suggest the person to update the program. The program or the mind paradigms are almost impossible to be deleted, it is impossible, but it's possible to recreate a parallel program that will contrast a certain behavior of a person. When I talk about behaviors, what I'm talking, if for example I go to visit a company and I speak with the HR department, they contract me to bring improvement in their company. Improvement is creating a working flow in the company that is productive for the company. Of course the company is made of different people, different managers and executives, etc. So each one of these persons, they have a certain behavior. And if the coach understands the behavior of people, and will map it in a, a general context of improvement, the coach can bring improvement in the company. So working in the core is going deep on each one, on each manager and each component of the working team and understand how they are, talk with them, dig deep inside their personality and suggest them how they can improve and make productive life. When a person becomes productive in the, his life, the person is also productive in the job, in the family, in the environment, with friends. This is working from and inside the core. This is my technique, actually. Thank you so much for listening to this interesting lecture. I talked today a little bit of psychology and psychology, of course, is involved also with coaches. If you'd like to talk more about this topic or get more information or ask me questions, please drop me an email at www.lifeinthecore.com and I will be really glad to talk with you. Let me know about your team, what are your problems, and I can make you one hour free coaching with our advanced Zoom online conference system to discover about your team, understand where are the problems and how you can bring improvement in your company.